All right, first video is up. This is now the second video. I'm obviously going to clean the card out, but before I do, I want to do a before and after on the temperatures and whatnot. So I got the computer all set back up. I got MSI Afterburner up and running again. Currently, the idle temperatures are around 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which is really nice. I have the fans uh, set in uh, the uh, Gigabyte stuff to be uh, passive slash active, so they're always spinning. So with that said, time to rerun the old uh, demo here. But instead at 720p, I'm gonna run it at 4K, uh, 4K, but 1440p. And I'm going to also, yeah, just do that. And let's see what the frame rates are like. 3000 FPS, yikes. I can hear the card screaming right now. All right, so just like with the previous videos, I'm just going to let this idle for a while and we'll see what the temperatures rise up to. All right, so I've had it idling for like less than five minutes. Actually, yeah, less than five minutes, like what, three? And the fans are ramping up and down, ramping up and down like this all the time. And it's at 175 degrees Fahrenheit. So more than likely if, uh, we apply the wrong paste doesn't fix this issue. A custom fan curb would be uh, necessary through either uh, MSI Afterburner. But uh, with that said, I think I'm actually just going to stop the temperature torture right the temperature torture right now because I've maxed everything out and I really don't want to be listening to this for the next thirty odd minutes of letting this thing sit. So, with that said. This is a tech demo. It is meant to more hammer the card more than like gaming and whatnot. So with that said, I'm going to load up an actual game and see what happens. Alright, so with everything just idling again, the idle temperatures are now at 111 degrees Fahrenheit. But, unlike before, the fans are actually quieted down. So, like I said in the previous video, the fan curve issue of it just constantly spinning even after being rammed like that for a while was just due to the fact that I didn't have the uh, Oyoris engine installed. I don't know why that is, but go figure from Gigabyte. So with that said, I'm now going to load up Sea of Thieves and see what happens. Just in the main menu alone, I haven't even loaded into the actual game. I've already hit the max TDP of what the card is wanting or allows. And I'm already getting the fan ramping up down and whatnot. So more than likely the thermal base does need to be reapplied. But uh, with that said, I will load into the game briefly just to see if I see any performance differences. Now I really shouldn't because the 1080 Ti and the 2080 are basically the same GPU. Only difference is that this card can handle more newer games than the 1080 Ti can. Because unfortunately, even though how even though the 1080 Ti is still a beast, there are certain games that the 1080 Ti just can't play just due to some bullshit with the game. Alright, performance is I think maybe a little lower than my 1080 Ti, but that is more than likely because this card has dead thermal paste. So with that said, I'm going to stop this game and I'm going to Take the card out of the computer and clean it up. I didn't expect it to be uh, this atrocious when I initially got it, but it does work at least. So hopefully re hopefully cleaning everything out, reapplying thermal base is all this card needs. Alright, I managed to pull the fan and shroud off, but I don't know how to pull the heat sink off. Reason being is because when I take a look at underneath, we got obvious screws I unscrew, but then we got these guys right here that tap into something else. I don't know if those ones tap into just the, uh, putting the backplate on, uh, screwing down the backplate to the, uh, PCB, or if they also go into the, uh, heat sink itself. I think they just go to just screw the uh, backplate down to the back of the board. I think I found a video to uh, show me how to fully take this thing apart, but uh, yeah. All right, so the video I saw didn't have the exact board, but it did have these little uh, nubs right here. 
And from the looks of it, it looks like they're just used to screw the back plate down to the uh, PCB itself. So if I unscrew all these screws here, I should be able to fully pull the uh, heat sink off. Now, with that said, one thing I want to note is, let's see, that screw is loose. That screw is loose. This screw is somewhat loose, but almost tight. This one right here, which I started pulling out, was very, very loose. So I think the uh, person popped this thing apart and reapplied thermal paste before sending it off to me. I don't know for certain, but that's the only thing I can come up with because all the screws on the back here are very loose. They're not properly tightened down. Now that said, they could have come loose over time, but uh, they're still loose. So more than likely that was the cause of uh, everything just running really hot. Sadly, I ripped a few of the uh, thermal pads, but other than that, everything looks to be fine. I'll just put a little bead of thermal paste here and a little piece of thermal, uh, bead of thermal paste there, and that should more or less keep everything nice and cool. Now, with that said, when it comes to the thermal paste, it's basically dry. So it had to be replaced no matter what. Now, were the screws being loose contributing to the thing overheating? More than likely, but the thermal paste, she did. She very did. So I'm going to clean everything else up and reapply thermal paste and yada yada. All right, cards put back together. I lost one screw. Luckily that one screw only goes to the shroud and it's this little guy right here. It's a long screw. I don't know where I put it. I'll eventually find it, but um, the cards back together again new thermal paste everything's cleaned out as much as i could i'm not going to do as good as a uh, that one guy that does the pc repair fix or flop stuff but uh at least i'll make mine halfway decent enough at least i don't uh, get sponsored by fake cd cd key resale sites those sites are scams you're not going to change my mind short dvi cable short so I had to go to this weird little position here to make it to where I can actually test the thing. So how am I going to do this? I'll just do it like this. Turn the computer on. Fan spin. I get lighting. And I should get an image on the display. Alright, now I got an image on the display. It should post to the desktop very shortly. All right, we're good to go. So now with that said, now to see if the uh, temperatures actually improve while this thing's being ran and whatnot. So um, I'm gonna shut this thing back down, button everything back up, get it back in its hole, and we'll rerun those tests. All right, with everything now back to the way it was, let's see if I have that overheating issue again. I believe it's like after burner on Mac, it starts up. Yes, it does. So I'll just need to go here, here, and just see what happens with temperatures. Well, the fans didn't kick on instantly, so I more like more or less likely fix all the issues. With that said, though, just like before, I'm gonna let it run for a bit. Though this time around, I think I'm actually gonna legitimately let it run for a while, because by now the fans have already kicked in or start ramping like they like they were previously, and that's not the case right now. But also with that said, the frame rates, I believe, are more or less the same with my 1080 Ti. I'll be able to do a more proper comparison video when I get my third computer built or third computer set up. But uh, for now, this is what I got. So, uh, yeah. With that said, the third computer is actually going to go to my father, which means I'll be able to finally do what I originally wanted to do, which was give my father a really good computer to work with. His computer is going to be using my 1080 Ti, 
and basically everything that's in this case right now excluding the power supply storage and video card but you'll be getting the motherboard 1080 1080 uh, and a 750 watt power supply i'm going to buy a probably like a 250 or 500 gig nvme boot drive and then two terabytes full drive so i can keep all his uh music and whatnot he's more of an audiophile than a gamer but considering I'll be giving him a 1080 Ti, he could actually play games like Forza and whatnot and actually play at nice quality frame rate, at nice texture quality in general or better looking game while also having very nice uh, frame rate compared to the 950 that's in his current computer and like a second gen i5 of some sort. So with that said, I will come back after a while but with that said the temperatures seem to be fairly fine the fans aren't kicking up as you can tell without my talking so i think i'll fix the issue all right it's been idling now for quite a while and it hovers between 169 and 170. it's been like this now for like 15 20 minutes and the fans have it ramped like they were previously so I think it's safe to say I have resolved the uh, temperature issues of my uh, 2060 Super. So with that said, this is a demo after all. So it is going to hit the uh, car a little more harder than like a game would. So with that said, I'm going to reload up Sea of Thieves and see what the performance and temperatures are like with that game. Because again, this demo is meant to really hit the card while Sea of Thieves is just a game. All right, some more time has passed and the uh, fans are still staying nice and quiet. And temperatures have more or less actually been about the same, if not a little less uh, cooler, depending on what's going on at any given moment. So with that said, I just got done doing an action event and I'm going to sell the skull first before I grab everything else. There is a Reaper about and if you play Sea of Thieves, you know how much of an asshole Reaper players are. So I'm better off selling the most high value item than coming back for everything else. Especially considering I'm soloing a Galleon. Sometimes I can solo with a Brig and get an Ashen Event. But sometimes I have to get have to solo a Galleon to get an Ashen Event to show up. I, I don't know why that is at the game, but it's the way the game works. So with that said, I have managed to fix my uh, 2080 Super. Uh, the person that I bought this on eBay didn't say anything about uh, fans acting up or anything like that. He just said he only used it for a few months and that was it. Clearly that was not the case. But I am technically inclined enough to sniff this type of bullshit out and fix it. So I managed to get myself a nice little 20 to 80 super and I'm quite happy with it. I would like to have higher FPS and I think I'm going to utilize the auto overclocking feature that Gigabyte has for this particular card. Maybe squeak out like an extra 5 to 10 FPS. But when it comes to games like Sea of Thieves, as long as it stays above 60 FPS, I really don't care. Would I like to maintain above 100? Yes, obviously, but as long as I can maintain 60, especially at 1440p, I'm more than happy. So I think that's pretty much it for this video.